a part definition file for resource requirements and uh, what is that resource requirement how we can uh, define in a pod ml file so use with the api version so even a kind kind is pod type of the object you are going to create and metadata we are mentioning and you can use name as a my resources and we can use spec so under spec we can specify as usual uh, containers containers i found name of the container ng index don't use the spell mistakes and image of the container we can use ng index and ports we can see under that container port you can use container port 0 then we need to specify the resource under that request so request and that request we need to specify the memory so memory under memory there are two types of request memory and limits request and limits request minimum and uh, minimum uh, memory and minimum cpu under limits uh, maximum memory and maximum cpu we need to mention here a minimum right we are going to use with 1 gi so that means 1 gi is requested and uh, cpu is we can say 250 m okay that means mb then next one is limits we can say under limits we need to specify the same uh, fields which is uh, CPU and memory that so here we can say 2 GI and uh, here we can say 500 M this is how you need to write the YAML file for the resource requirements for the pod so once the, the file was ready you can execute it it will be created and based on the uh, uh, resource requirement uh, the uh, scheduler will identify the uh, available uh, node for that and place that pod in a, that node so this is how it will be working and there are uh, clarifications for limits and uh, memory also and uh, limit uh, separate files also needed for that you need to define that as well in the uh, limit cpu and limits memory that is a separate definition file uh, that is we need to i will explain it later on this session